Welcome to the SIA Engineer version 14 user interface tutorial. In this video, we'll give a brief overview of the V14 user interface, as well as some basic toolbars, inputs, and functionalities found in this version of SIA Engineer. First off, it is important for the user to understand how to employ different views of the model. Various preset views are available in the view toolbar. Additionally, the user can utilize this toolbar for different zoom features, as well as switching to a perspective view. In addition to the view toolbar, there are three adjustment wheels in the bottom right-hand corner of the model window. These wheels are used to zoom and rotate both horizontally and vertically. Finally, it is also possible to navigate the views using the keyboard and mouse. To tumble, hold control and the right mouse button. To pan, hold shift and the right mouse button. And finally, to zoom, hold shift and control and the right mouse button. Lastly, it is also possible to access all the view options as well as a clipping box in the view menu located in the menu toolbar. The basic user interface of CA Engineer is made up of a few distinct windows. First, the main service tree serves as a hub for accessing the functionality found in CA Engineer. The tree window is organized in a top-down approach, which allows the user to work through the project in a straightforward manner. Within the main service tree, services for line grids, loading, meshing, results, and the engineering report can be accessed. Below that, we have the property window, which summarizes parameters and characteristics of the selected objects. For example, when selecting a column, the window shows various analytical properties of that column. Within this window, it is also possible to select a particular property and utilize the Select Elements by Properties button to filter the model based solely on that selected property, in this case, identifying 45 individual column elements. Correspondingly, it is possible to select elements by more than one property. Finally, at the bottom of the property window, we have action buttons, which change based on the active functionality or objects selected in the model. Another basic interface item is the command line. This command line displays step-by-step -step instructions for chosen functions and can be used to activate certain commands while also being used for numerical inputs within functions. Included in the command line is the project snap settings. Here, we find one-click snaps as well as the cursor snap settings, which allows the user to fully control all the given snap modes within the model. Another important feature of the user interface is the table input, which can be enabled by right-clicking in the empty space by the toolbars and selecting table input. The table input allows the user to input or adjust various analytical objects within the model. These objects are highlighted in the 3D workspace when selected within the table. From within the table, different input types including cross-sections, load combinations, and hinges can be accessed and refined by right-clicking on the object tabs. Additionally, the table input has the ability to allow the user to filter a column selection. By adding the table filter and typing the search criteria in the corresponding column, the user can effectively filter the selected items within the table. Within C Engineer, there are many different ways to adjust the parameters which drive the way the model is being viewed graphically. One of the main methods for doing this is by using the fast adjustment of view parameters toolbar located above the command line. Within the toolbar, the user can toggle graphical display of the surfaces, rendering, supports, loads, node labels, and beam labels. Additionally, the user has access to the setup dialog for the fast adjustment of view parameters on the entire model, where further modification of the graphical display of the entire model can be implemented. One other unique aspect of the SIA Engineer user interface is the ability to dock windows in various locations within the workspace. These windows can be easily docked simply by grabbing the heading of the window and dragging it to one of the predefined docking locations within the workspace. These locations are identified by arrow buttons and will show the new location of the window when highlighted. The next main feature of the user interface are the toolbars located at the top of the screen. Toolbars for basic functionality 
project functionality, tools, view settings, and geometric manipulations are currently shown on the screen. It is also possible to right-click in the empty space next to the toolbars and enable additional toolbars such as the dimension and selections toolbars. Finally, it is also possible to modify each individual toolbar by selecting the arrow at the end of each toolbar. Within this dialog, the user can enable or disable specific buttons on each toolbar and can also access the Customize menu, which allows for the full customization of existing toolbars. Finally, the result service in SIA Engineer utilizes many of the previously discussed user interface items and functionality. When accessing the results, the tree is broken up into various different result types based on the objects that exist within the model. These result types include displacements, reactions, 3D stresses, and 1 and 2D member results. For example, the user can access 1D member results, including internal forces, deformations, and stresses. When a result type is selected, the properties window is used to modify parameters which correspond to the active result type. These parameters can be used to adjust what is displayed and how it is being displayed. Parameters for load type, filter, value, and extreme allow for further adjustment of how the results are being graphically displayed. Additionally, the user can access the drawing setup in order to modify the representation and description of the output. In any case, a change to any parameter of the result requires a refresh of the graphical display using the refresh action button. The user also has the ability to access 2D member results including displacements, internal forces, and stresses. These outputs include parameters that are modified in the same way as the 1D member results. For 2D members, the results are viewed on the generated finite element mesh as ISO lines, which can also be altered by the user through accessing the 2D drawing setup. Finally, all results in C Engineer are also able to be displayed in a table format by accessing the table results window. From here, data can be copied to Excel for use in additional calculations. Thank you for viewing this quick introduction to the SIA Engineer v14 user interface. Corresponding documentation on the items discussed in this video, as well as all SIA Engineer functionality, can be retrieved by pressing F1 or by accessing the reference guide and web help found in the help menu. Thank you, and be sure to check the Nemencheck SIA website for more helpful videos.